<laughs> Bro, imagine like this fight. Because like it's so serious that you really like cannot blink. But like that statement, take off your glasses. I'm not blinking. I would last like five seconds. Not even. Today we're going to be reacting to Doctor Who Season 13, Episode 4. Let's get into this. Damn, the angel has the TARDIS. Where'd the angel take us, though? Okay, November 21st, what? Like, what year? And the year? 1967. Jesus, okay. If you find a note that says, leave now, run. Just run. Please. Claire Brown. Hey, it's Claire. This is where she was sent back to. Okay. 13th of May, 1985. Like, 10 years from now. Oh. Yeah, 1935. Has to, I have to change it, of course. Apologies. Word of advice. Yep, yeah, that's recorded. Seven, and you clearly know your own birthday. But she, the birthday's a lie, for sure. The date, she probably just thinks it's another day. I don't know. Like, she, she was sent back in time by an angel. So she probably doesn't fully believe that, like, she's in the time. Isn't that what, like, um... Those machines do? Like lie detector machines, don't they just like show your increased heart rate and stuff? She thinks about the future still, so it just is like sensing her doubt, right? At the machine, just you believe neither statement. Yeah, see it, it's when it's what you believe. I knew it. I knew it. When you need a control ref no discernible trigger. Help me. Dude, yeah, help her, but how do you help her? She's freaking out, man. Of course, my dear. Escape. Oh, so creepy. I hate when they have, like, voices come from other people. Stop it. Just turn. Not for her. The angel has the TARDIS. Yeah, the angel has the TARDIS now. Well, I'm so excited to see how Claire is connected to this. I still like this effect that they do, like, with the stars. It looks pretty. Okay, but, like, it doesn't matter if they blink or not because the lights are flickering off and on. So, like, in the darkness, the angel can move. Together, yeah. yep. Of course. These are two things that shouldn't be put together. Of course the doctor's gonna put them together. That's all she can do. Bro, an angel has the TARDIS. That's bad. <laughs> She doesn't know anything is ever gonna work. That's like what the doctor does. Sometimes she doesn't know. She just tries. I mean, good job. It worked, babe. At least you're alive. Thanks for That's true. At least you're alive. You know, you gotta look on the bright side. We got three problems, but we got one good thing. We're alive. Might as well go outside. How are you going to find out where you are? Wow. Wow. Someone's actually using the phone outside. That never happens. Gerald Langley. I recall. You've had that coat a while then. So, I've had a coat like since I was 16. <laughs> Why are you going to judge him? My colleagues will assist you. Assist them while I don't wander off. Assist them while I don't wander off. I just go wander off. <laughs> Honestly, the doctor makes me smile, but like I would follow him. I'm sorry, I would follow her. I just wouldn't. She wandering off. Are you yes. in charge? Hey, oh, I'm missing girl. No, where's Peggy? This is Haywood. It's happening again. What's happening again? Bro, I hate how the beginning's always so confusing. Own shock remedy. Tea with honey from my own bees? Honestly, Slay King. Like, you have your own bees and you get honey from them? Go off. Thank you. Alarming. Not 
No! Of course, of course. Okay, so at least the doctor's with Claire now. The reading is that I set my sonic off. How did you get in here? Your door was open. I love that psychic paper because you actually have no idea what it's going to say, and they always read it out loud. It's always something different. It most certainly was not. You disrupt my experiments. Of course, Claire's just thinking of the TARDIS. Where did you get this? Yeah, it's not a premonition, it's her memories. No, okay, stop, stop. Because it's zooming in, which means that something's going to be behind her. Brace for it, Stephen. Okay, so she's becoming an angel? What? I didn't even know that people could become angels. Ninety-two. And 93, there's an extra gravestone. Two, three. And of course, it's an angel. Of course it is. He's gone. He's gone because he's getting close to it and blinking. One of those blinks, the angel's just going to be like, boop, and he's gone. Why would you need to know anything? If, we if you're going to, if like they're looking for her, anything that could help find her. If we find her, we might want to talk to her. So, oh girl, how much is there to know? Jeff loved a lot a lot if she's 10 years old okay you're a bad like granddad gerald come on all right gene not granddad like he's a, her great uncle or something i don't know it's weird maybe she just ran to get away from him yeah maybe she did run to get away from him still coming Damn, it is much faster than y'all, too. You gotta be careful. My eyes are very dry. I can't go more than like 30 seconds without blinking. If I ever came face to face with an angel, I'm done. I'm done. Quarter of a sun, third of a moon, half a planet. Quarter of a sun, a third of a moon, and half a planet. Damn, bro. <laughs> The savagery of the flux. It gets to safety. No. Who's getting you to safety? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna be the bad guys, isn't it? It's gonna be Swarm. Oh, there'll be one later. You... Wait! Oh. My. God. That's a lot of angels. Bro, why are the angels so obsessed over this man? She literally just told you she's not being ridiculous. Like, I get it. It sounds super ridiculous. But, bro, you see a whole bunch of statues are moving and surrounding you. They moved when you turned away. And now they're surrounding your house. Listen to her. What's the worst that happens? Ridiculous. Professor... They want her, don't they? It's them, isn't it? Oh, damn. I was like, eventually they'll break through the wooden doors. Like, they are made of stone. With encampment. Yep, the angels take out everyone. This is where they feast, okay? Literally a village for the angels. Makes sense for the title. You're welcome. She's turning into an angel. I didn't know that was possible, but that's insane. How do we get back? You don't get back. You need the doctor to find you. When you get touched by an angel, you act. They're all gone. There's the little girl, too. Of course, the angel did send her back. They put thoughts in my head. What do you mean the angels put thoughts in your head, bitch? Why? Oh my god, creepy. Holy hell. 
literally right outside of the village is space. Bro, because of like the flux probably. Oh my god. This is probably like the only food source now. Extraction. Quantum extraction. They're literally extracting humans from Earth to save them so that way they can keep feeding on them. Bro, that's kind of insanity. It sounds bad when I say feeding on them, but like that's what the angels do. They send you back in time and they feed off your quantum energy. Yep, in the future too, at the edge of the town is space. That's insane. They like quantum lock the city. That's insanely powerful, bro. Angels got some power behind them. I think that's actually really funny because angels don't have to touch you. Like, if you're touching them trying to move the statue, they can send you back that way too. That's actually really cute. Bro, that flash of like the angels being scary every time. Why? Why? You could just gently touch someone. You don't have to, like, have that face every time. Okay, so she was sent back in time. Yeah, this is back in the past in the city. Is this, like, another angel? Like, I wonder if it's the same angels. Why is she not afraid anymore? Bro, what? Like, are you talking to her? Like, are, are you having, like, a secret conversation right now, Angel? Like, what is happening? Why is this bitch no longer afraid? I would run. I would run. One angel just touched me, and then I teleport back there, and then I see another angel in front of me. I would turn around and run! I realized that I would be fucked because I just turned around, and then the angel will catch up with me, no problem. But I would still try. I'll just be sent back in time like a hundred times <laughs> until there's like no angels left and then they're just like all feeding off of my quantum energy. You didn't actually, you didn't burn the picture or anything, babe. You just ripped it up. That can be reformed like that. Okay, yeah, that did make it worse. Sorry. I think. Her. They want her. Me in your mind and I was living there. Bro, that sucks. You have premonitions so you can see the future and she literally saw a premonition of an angel which allowed the angel to be in her mind and now the angel's gonna take over her body? Oh my god, that's so savage. That's actually so fucking savage. That which we need a lot of I mean, good job. At least he's like ready for it. Not like terrified. I would be terrified. Sorry. Eyes on a lot of weeping angels. There you go. Now the now I can record it. Let me just record it, please. I'll watch the TV now. But you can't blink. Every time he blinks, it's no one watching it. You have to have like two or three people so y'all can take turns blinking. How are you going to get the angel out of her mind? An angel. What? A rogue re weeping angel. Honestly, go off. You identified this human as your sanctuary and now people are come now your fellow kind are coming after you. Okay, I get that. Get that. Don't think that has anything to do with the city though. On the run from other angels. For the division. Damn, an extraction squad for the division. Weeping angels. Why has the division control weeping angels? Excuse me. Excuse me. It's what she does that matters. It's what she does. Oh my God! It's Swarm Sister, isn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> 
I love that it's her. <clears throat> on the one planet in this, like, whole galaxy, there's only this one planet alive. And she comes here, like, every day to take everyone on the planet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, that's not a transport. No, that's a container. What is that? It's been here before. Did she say passenger? He did say passenger. And you know what a passenger is. So what? Come on. Why? Literally, why would she lie about that? All you told her was it's called a passenger. And then she freaked out. She knows what they are. Like, why would she lie about that? I don't believe you. Stay away from me. I mean, she tried to help, but I get it. Like, he's just seen massive people be teleported away. And he thinks that they're going to salvation. The universe is basically over. Like, they need whatever help they can get. Back to it. Nobody survives it twice. Don't go. That's true. Nobody survives it twice. You can get sent back once and live your life peacefully in the past, and they can feed on your quantum energy. If another angel sends you back in time again, you're typically dead. Perfectly You're such an idiot, dude. How did that Literally three people are screaming at you to don't go near the statue. Maybe listen? Like, I get it, you're an old man, but dude, you deserve this now. Sorry, Becky. They're dead. They're gone. They're coming in. Like, there's a lot of them, man. There was like 10 on the screen. Now there's one. Weird. Where have they gone? Oh, thank you. Good job. Good job. Don't look away. Hey, boys, it's a very clever trick, but most impolite without permission. I love that. It's a clever trick how you're using my voice, but please stop. It's very impolite without permission, okay? So interested in the tension of starting now. Good job, man. Don't surrender to the angels. Hell no. Good job. Good job. For now, Jericho. It's true. I mean, they do have a lot of power, so they can apparently project thoughts into your head bro that's creepy and like they're using his own voice most rude without permission like he said um what do you mean for now bitch set up mirrors e everyone that's ever watched the show knows easiest way to stop angels mirrors because they can be observed by themselves Yeah, literally just drawing another image of an angel because that which contains an image of an angel can itself be an angel. What's you were? Okay, but I don't remember the division, so can you give me the TLDR, please? No. But like you, I ran. No, 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 don't play games with me. Hmm. Just have a okay, so doctor, the doctor ran from the division, okay. What I did, what I don't remember. I get why the doctor doesn't want to trust an angel, but seriously, the angel's talking to you, it's telling you about the division, it didn't try and attack you right away, like, even Daleks and Cybermen, we've seen one or two of them be nice. It does happen. It does happen. It's just rare. It's just rare. We're both trapped. Knowledge. Okay. So then give me the knowledge. Like, I don't remember about the division. You do. You want me to stop the division? Help me. I get it. The angel wants you to stop the other angels first. I get that. But like, I don't know. I would be very clear with the angel. I would be like, listen, I don't remember that past life. I'm not living centuries like you, okay? Sorry. You gotta fill my brain in. I hold everything. 
Right? Yeah, because she has been there forever, and she is an angel that has been alive for a while. So she has all the memories of the Division, the Doctor, all the species that the Division uses, like everything about the Division. Knowledge is power. Sure. You have to tell the Doctor that. Like, you can't just be like, I know it, and they want it. Okay? What if they get you? Can you tell me something? Include... I love that. I'm sorry, I threw a cup at you. I really needed you awake. He gave you a lot of time, okay? See what you mean. Why wouldn't they? Doctor? Of course there are. There's angels all over this city. There's this village. Why wouldn't there be? In the tunnels too, like that's just wild, bro. Angel up ahead, Doctor! Maybe stay this side of it for now, eh? Smart to throw a stick through it. That's super creepy. That is super creepy. That's super creepy. Don't don't go on the other side. Good job, Dad. Good job. Stop, Peggy. Don't come any closer. Oh shit. Okay. Right. That's Miss Hayward. That's not the like aunt that got sent back. It was Miss Hayward that saw the angel. That's her, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't I that yo I'm so excited. I love when they do this. I remember the strange old one. Bro I mean the flux was ripping through time and space. Like I'm the flux was literally just time running wild. I'm sure that those could be angels that just got placed on Earth and now they're just stuck here. They told King. <laughs> Bro, imagine like this fight. Because like it's so serious that you really like cannot blink. But like that statement, take off your glasses. I'm not blinking. I would last like five seconds. Not even. Damn. Damn, the angel got him. Just a little bit of angel dust. Like, that's all it takes. A little bit of that stone dust. Back in time. You're not quick, doctor. You're quick. Sure. You are not quicker than the angels, bro. They have like super speed. Okay. Why aren't they following her? What the hell? Well, now you know why. Doctor. Just want, they just want Claire. They just want the angel that's inside of Claire. Right. The angel inside of Claire. They'll take you instead. Whoa, duh. Instead of the angel, of course they'll take the doctor. But the doctor doesn't remember anything from the division. Like, why is why are they want the doctor? Probably just because the doctor can stop them. You are recalled to division. You're going back? Like they want to re-recruit you? Not the doctor angel, honestly. That was a really cool transformation. Well, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Leave a comment down below, you know, what's your favorite part? Do you actually understand anything going on? Because I won't understand it until like the final episode. That's what always happens, always will happen. They do a great job just dropping little tiny hints throughout the whole season. Bro, the division is wild. Actually wild, actually. Anyway. Y'all slay and I slay. Let's slay together. Bye.